guess it's ASMR. Be scared. Dwight, you should be running this office. It's all on the table. I want the branch, and I await your decision. Well then, I'm glad you're okay. And that's when his head was separated from the rest of him. And I will let you know more as soon as I find out. Wow. If you want to cry, that's okay. My cousin, Mufasa, was, um, he was trampled to death by a pack of wildebeests all of us kind of in the audience of what happened. Do you want to talk about it anymore? Damn it. Come on. Karen, my chips got stuck in the vending machine again. I need your skinny little arms. Oh. Did you shake it? Yeah, I shook it. I shook it. Show me that farm. With Phyllis's and Kevin's sprouting up all over the place, right for the plucking. We have nothing to talk about, Dwight. Just do your work while well, you still can. You knew about this all along, didn't you? Jan told me just a few minutes before she told you. Traitor. I just feel like it could have been something special if we could have kept working together, but. I'm gonna go someplace else, and you're gonna go someplace else. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know. Can't explain it. What if the office actually goes under? Then it was an honor to have worked with you. And when you took me to the hospital and told me that you cared about me, what about when Jan said the branch was closing? God, Dwight. Well, it was... 
Let's go home. Get the car. I should probably get back to work. Do you know anything about film? I know everything about film. I've seen over 240 of them. Congratulations. Because that's how it works. I do like it, actually. Thank you. You have such a pretty smile, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. This is difficult for me. Hey, I understand. We're all friends. No, I mean, I can't physically. I can't get on the table. Just use the momentum of your lower half to hoist yourself up. No, Toby was helpful. He was very kind. It's just your management style. My management style? So... Was it supposed to be funny? Fire Andy. Fire... Andy. Suck up. Speaking of funerals, why don't you go ahead and go die? Who is it? Hannah? Hmm. Hmm. Andy? Andy? Hmm. It is such a stereotype. I just wish that Josh had made a more progressive choice, like a white guy who went to prison for polluting a black guy's lake. It sounds an awful lot like what I do here every day. Listen, you're cute. There's no getting around it. I don't know if you like country music, but I was thinking maybe one of these days we could drive out to a field, crank up some tunes, smoke a few macanudos. Wow. Think about it. I'll hit you back. with just terrible information on how to get them to go out with him. I feel like I already sicked him on Pam. We'll give her a break. Let's think of someone else. Okay. You know what, Toby? I am teaching them a lesson, so... Martin went from being a new guy from Stanford to the convict to my friend. Back to a convict than to kind of a nuisance, actually. If we can be completely honest. And finally, to a quitter. And I will not miss him. And that is not because he is black. Come on, Dwight. We went over this, like, for half an hour. It's Christmas, Toby. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> please. Please. Clean it in your car. I know. It hurts my heart. It hurts my stomach. It hurts my arms. How did you push away the bad thoughts? What is this? Tape recorder. For what? I had sex with her. I had sex with Jan. I have a special assignment for you. Who's the target? A sensitive email has been released to the office.
contains a file, a picture. The file name is Jamaica J and Sun Princess. What's it of? Not important. Unless you're willing to tell me everything, I cannot accept this okay, assignment. Forget it. Okay, I accept it. I ran out of gas. Hit a deer. I hit. I hit a deer with my car. Okay. Okay. Michael hit a deer. Uh, I think you drop this. You sure? Definitely. I have disconnected the Office T1 line. I've ordered that that be taken down and destroyed all printouts from the bathroom. There are copies in the bathroom? There were a lot of them. same age. And I'll pick Karen. Oh, uh, thanks. It's a big order. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, thank you. Lovely place. You ever been to Bermuda? Question. Certain events have transpired, and I've thought about certain things. Oh, oh, wow. Like a crazy person, a little. Not super crazy, just. Just something about him that creeps me out. I can't really explain it. I don't understand how someone can have so little self-awareness. Dwight and each file is password protected with a different mythical creature, so I can't. What? Party pooper. Hey, Ryan. What? Do you want to pull a prank on Andy? Not right now, but ask me again ten years ago. I liked you better as the temp. Yes, he did. Have any of you talked to Dwight? A lot of times when two people like that get together, it can be explosive. Sometimes I'll say I don't like something, he says he doesn't like it either. If he did that with Josh, he could be doing that with me. Why would Dwight do that for you? I think I know why. Because Dwight would do that for anyone here because Dwight loves this company. That's why. Well, I guess today I am going to have to call in myself. I want them sucking up to me because they genuinely love me. Life is precious. 
And if I die, I want my son to know the dealio. The dealio of life. you for three hours work and we're gonna get it Michael I left a meeting what is so urgent are you are you okay you went to a bachelor party at work yes I kind of arranged it you could strip you know Again, Jim, I will take care of this. I will locate the wedding crashers and report them to Phil's. burn me. I... Bizarre. Extraordinary events call for extraordinary actions. Do you have the tools to turn a wooden mop handle into a stake? Which size? People will never go out of business. It's polite to arrive early and smart. Only really good friends show up early. Ergo, de facto, go to a party early, become a really good friend. It's been sitting in my car all day. The sun beating down on the mayonnaise. Just, you never know. Don't break up, you guys. You're great together.
I can offer you a 12% raise, but you have got to ask for 15. I just need you to ask for it so I can record that you asked for it, okay? I was thinking tonight we could read it together. That sounds fun. I got it. Give me the number for the giant big box toy store. Green is eating an apple. I found a potato. I'm temporarily lifting the shun. Thank you. It means nothing. I need you to do something for me. Anything. Okay, calm down. I need you to acquire an inflatable house and or castle. Yeah, that sounds good. Risha. Every week I'm supposed to take four hours and do a quality spot check at the paper mill. And of course, the one year I blow it off, this happens. If I am fired, I swear to God that every single piece of copier paper in this town is going to have the F word on it. The F word. You have one day. One day for what? That's, they always give an ultimatum. So I thought I'd pass around a goodbye card. Maybe everyone could put in a couple of bucks to help her through these difficult times. Why do bad things always happen to the good people? It's tragic. It's just tragic. For example, Jan and I have a safe word in case things go too far. And if one of us says that word, the other one has to stop. Although last time, she pretended she didn't hear me. I'm sorry. Thank you. I have information about the sex predator. You have information about the sex predator? I saw him two minutes ago. Where? In the women's bathroom above the sink. Sabotage. What? Sabotage. The ancient Dutch art of screwing up your own team. Would you like to spend the night with the regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Scranton? I'm taking his job. Uh, can we can we talk privately for, for a minute? Why privately? Uh, I just I uh, I I don't uh, I, I don't I don't like the way that we left things. Okay, sure, fine. Um, why don't you wait in my office? I have some important business matters to take care of. Slowly and quietly gather the ladies of the conference room, Phyllis, Angela, Karen. What about Meredith? No. She's an alternate. I miss you. I want us to go back together. Yeah. 
Very rare, actually. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Remarkable. Thanks. I am by far the most qualified person they're interviewing. Jim and Karen are here, which is cute. They're like, except Daddy is the best actor around. Daddy is Meryl Streep. The job you're applying for is Jan's job. I don't understand, so we're gonna tag team it? No, we're letting Jan go. What's the matter? What, what happened in there? I can't tell you. Hi, Hunter. Bye. Good luck with your band. Oh, thank Don't you. Don't let them change you, okay? just feel like I've never really come back. <laughs>